I would like to personally wish everyone under the sound of my voice that listens to this podcast a very Merry Christmas. This is a, this is a very special day to the Christian people of this world. It is a day that is celebrated as the day of the birth of Jesus Christ, the day our Lord and Savior came into the world to save the lost, to redeem the lost and the backslidden. And I thank God every day for what He has done for all of us in this representation of this holiday that we take every year. So Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas from the prodigal son and from my family. I pray blessings over you for this entire next year. I pray that God will guide you and direct you through his word and the guidance and the love that he wants to give you through his word. Now let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, we praise you and we thank you, God, for all the touch that you have given us and the promise you have given us on this Christmas morning that we can stand and look and understand that you sent your Son into the world to redeem your people, to redeem your children, to redeem your creation. And we, we're, we're praying today that people would accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, to know, to know and understand that He is there for them, to guide them and direct them. And we thank you and we praise you and we wish Jesus a very happy birthday today. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. I'm going to be reading the Christmas story today. This is something that I feel like I need to do, and I feel like that God wants me to read the Christmas story, to let you see and understand what he wants for all of us to have, and that is a, an assurance that he sent his son into the world to save you, to be born of a woman, to live a sinless life, but yet to die a sinner and be raised on the third day to justify us in his eyes. Glory to God. That's a blessing. That is a blessing. I'm going to be reading the Christmas story out of Luke 2. It says, It came to pass in those days that there, were, there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the house of, and lineage of David, for he was of the house and lineage of David. To, da- to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over the flock 
by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, and ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go now even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, and it as it was told unto them. Glory to God. The story of our Lord and Savior being born into this world to live, and to live as... He had to, and as he should, before God, sinless. This day, today being Christmas Day, a day set aside to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is a day that we can we can sit and and know and understand just how much God loves us. It is a representation of how much He loves us. A representation of how much that He went out of His way to give us eternal life. And that was through His Son, Jesus Christ. It, oh, I, it thrills my heart to know that... I have an advocate with the Father, an advocate that sits at the right hand of the Father making intercession for me every day. The Lord and Savior, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you today, are you born again? Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Glory to his name. That's all it takes to be born again and to accept this Lord and Savior, the Lord and Savior that was born into the family, uh, into this earth, that you might be born into the family of God through Him and His sacrifice. Merry Christmas. Won't you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today? He wants to be that to you. He loves you that much. He came and lived as a man here on this earth to love you and care for you and die for you that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today. Glory to God. Merry Christmas. 
it, it just thrills me to know that that today I can celebrate the birth of my Savior. He came into this earth as a baby and lived 33 and a half years and died a, a sacrifice before a holy God, sinless for my sins. Glory to his name. Merry Christmas. I want you all, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and bless and and. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you. I, I, I praise God that I, can, I have the privilege to speak to you on this podcast. I praise God for the privilege He has given me in calling me into this ministry. And I want you to know that we pray for you. We pray that God's will be done. And you know that God's will is His Word. So I'm praying God's Word into your life every day. That you would seek His Word and seek His will in your life. If you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Let us know you're listening. It's the-prodigalson.com. And stay tuned for the apps that's coming out. That's, uh, there again, our website is the-prodigalson.com.